Okay, in this video I'm going to look at linear graphs. Now by linear, what we're talking about are going to be equations that look like this. Okay, y equals mx plus c. You should already be uh, fairly familiar with that uh, from GCSE. But we call them linear graphs because the powers of x and y are 1. Um, if the power is any greater, if the power here for x was actually 2 and x squared, then we would have a quadratic. We call it linear when we have singular powers of x and y. Okay? So the x and the y, they're known as variables, while the m and the c are constant. They are fixed. Uh, so, for example, y equals 3x plus 1 is a linear equation. 3 represents the m and the 1 represents the c. Okay, the 3 and the 1 are fixed numbers, they are unchanging. That's why they are known as constants. While the x and the y are still representative of uh, all possible numbers. Okay, so they are variable, they can change. And they change depending on where you are. So, this is a linear equation, and this is the type of equation that we are going to be looking at um, in this chapter. And what you need to remember from that, sorry, I'm picking things up and putting them down on the place. Um, what you need to remember from that is that the M represents the gradient of the line, okay, because these are all straight lines. The M represents the gradient, how steep the line is, and we're going to look at that in a bit more detail in the next video, while the C represents the Y-intercept. And the y-intercept, what that means is it's telling you where the line crosses the y-axis, where the line intercepts the y-axis, okay, or intersects as well. So the information is there that allows us to define the line, and we're going to be dealing with, this, with these ideas and how they work in the next few videos.